So what's going on today, Randy? I bought a new scooter. A Honda Elite. Alright, so he got this from Neighbor Jim, as you could tell the thing's melted. So uh, it's not running right now, but we know it does run, so we're gonna do a little uh, trick that Justin showed us. When you're out of starter fluid. Propane. I can't believe that just worked. This thing ran it. Oh, there she goes. Oh, come on, stay up, stay up, stay up. Whip it. <laughs> He's gonna eat it. Oh, that's funny. What happened? I just let it die. Like, I was trying to see how low I could let it idle, and it just. Does she hit? She hit. You feel me? There we go. I've been here for a while and I wanted to get a few things done before I even started filming today. Uh, one was bleed my brakes because I've put it, been putting it off for literally ever just because I've been lazy and I hate brake fluid. So at first uh, I could not get the whole system to bleed. I was going absolutely insane. I swear my brake booster was going bad, my master is bad. I was literally losing my cool. <laughs> but uh, I called up Justin, he came over and he looked and my calipers were backwards. So huge rookie mistake on my part. I hope you guys never do this because it drove me insane. So on the Z calipers, the bleed screw is up top right here, and I put them on on the other side, so the bleed screw was on the bottom, so it wasn't allowing any air to come out, and uh, that was my fault. So just be cautious next time you guys put calipers on, because I sure learned my lesson today. Thanks to these big old brakes, I can no longer fit my blitz on here. They hit the calipers. Such a pain in the butt. Um, I've been trying all these spacers that I have and nothing works. I Luckily I ordered spacers like three days ago, but it's going to take like two days to come in and I cannot put the car down on the ground until that, which is like the most annoying thing in the world, having my car held up because of spacers. Whatever. I'm going to stop complaining. Yeah, it's just life. I should have just kept stock brakes on this damn thing. And uh, yeah, so back to this thing. You want to explain to the viewers what you're going to do now? So I was supposed to trade it for a hard body, that kid bailed. My other buddy hit me up to trade for a hard body, so now I'm going to trade him hopefully tomorrow. We'll see for that. Back to the hard body gang, hopefully. Yeah. I need a truck. No one get excited because it might not happen. I know, right? <laughs> what is up guys? So today is a new day. Um, I'm sorry I've been slacking on the filming the past couple days. I've been going home pretty early, I haven't been feeling too hot, so. But today, hopefully I can get enough done. <laughs> I guess we gotta get Drew's coupe ready because he is trading it for another hard body, but this one is actually worth it, and I really hope it goes through. But right now we're just doing a little cleaning up. It's really nice out, and uh, we've been motivated. Yes, sir. Don doesn't clean, so I'm gonna I'm cleaning his box for him because it's chaos on there. But <laughs> our neighbor Dino hooked us with a shelf, which is fantastic because we need it hor horribly. I might just put it in Don's spot just so it forces him to be organized, but we'll see. Remember, guys, a clean garage is a happy garage yeah feel me and we have spoiled tuck over here who has like seven choices of bones living the life tuck basically two for one day at cvs for arizona's ran up a huge check of 10 beans gotta re-up the fridge <laughs> everyone knows dude race cars are built on arizona's that's all i'm saying which one you want tuck come on i know you probably care but I love this shelf. <laughs> no, I like it. Organization time. Now Don can finally unload this pile of stuff that he's had sitting here forever. We officially got the Elite to hit, as one would say. So take a gander. Take a gander. So we found out the bathroom hits. Based, essentially, essentially. So I guess like mini loss right now. In conclusion. I really hope this is safe. I mean, it's inch plywood over pretty good framing. So. All right, never mind. Fine, bye. <laughs> No, I'm taking 
Dude, he's so low. No, grab that. Give me some more. Grab that. Oh, grab that. Oh, no, no, no. Grab that. Chip, what are you doing? Give me some more. Don is selling a set of wheels to Drew, and uh, we're going to test them right now. Dude, that looks so good. Boy, oh, you're good. Dude, that looks so good. Comment below if you think these look amazing, because I'm I'm in love with it. Like the XT7s are cool, they're rare, but they're kind of meant for stock body cars, and Drew's car is beyond stock body. This is an OEM. Yeah. And brown wheels with a brown car. Brown car? Brown car. Pretty much brown. Because <laughs> it's, it's a piece of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm honestly stoked on them. I really like Good. the rear. Now you just need. You already have front tires because your boy hooked you. Oh, nah. Yeah, Shout out to Jimmy for buying me really better. grippy drift tires. But uh, now we just need rear tires. Dude, they look so good. Dude, it looks great. It's really cool to see on something different. It's funny how your car makes 18s look small. Usually That's 18s, I, dude. 18s lie. look like monster truck wheels on most 240s. Oh, especially on the S13 too. But that's crazy. Like they look like overs, and your kit, like your kit, makes everything look aggressive or like small. Oh, my camera will not focus. There you go. DJ's been out here too. Uh, he's been putting in his uh, wide band gauge, which gives him his air fuel ratio because he needs to know that because he doesn't know what the hell's going on with this car, especially with the the big turbo on the stock stuff. So. It's not gonna rub. Yeah. Alright, my lack of filming today has been completely because we're all just doing general maintenance. I don't know if you guys even care to see that, but a bit of update. Uh, Don got a new slave cylinder for some reason. I don't know why. We put it in and it's being funky, so I think his master is actually on its way out. So he's going to pick up a new master cylinder right now at our 240 plug, Roger. So that should be all set. He also fixed his exhaust because it's rattling everywhere. Now, Drew, on the other hand, his coupe, I guess, is leaving tomorrow for the hard body, hopefully. So I have to put the brakes back on this thing since I borrowed it for my car at the last drift event. So I'm gonna bang this out real quick. I'm so sick of brake stuff, but gotta get it done. In the meantime, Drew is leaving me. He's gotta go back to school. Unfortunately. So, yeah. luckily Drew, Drew's school is only 20 minutes away, so it's not a big deal, but he's got homework because he did not do it over the weekend. And that's a quick update. So let's do some brakes. And they're on. Now I gotta bleed them. DJ, you ready to use that leg again? Yeah, boy. All right, so Don just got back from Rogers and he got his new to him <laughs> master cylinder. So this piece right here, this actually attaches to the pedal, the clutch pedal with a little bit of a, kind of like a dowel pin held in with a cotter pin. And uh, this then obviously goes in and out of this to push fluid to actuate the slave cylinder. So this should be pretty easy, a little messy just cause it's gonna get fluid everywhere, but just two bolts on the firewall comes out. I already undid the pin on the clutch and uh, we just gotta re-bleed it and we should be all set. Don is not having a good time. Not at all. It's pretty tight in there. It's actually a lot tighter than S13, surprisingly, because there's like this whole bracing piece right here. So, uh, good luck, Don. All right, so after tackling this clutch master cylinder for like a good half hour, just getting two nuts out, guys, two nuts. Um, actually, I got pissed and threw the old one outside, but let me see if I can get my phone out. So basically, there's that one nut down there, and then there's that one nut in between the brake booster. I don't know if you guys could really see it. They are a pain in the buttocks to get out. And yeah, just trash. Uh, Jimmy's putting the pin in where the cord is, and then once he's done with that, I'm gonna put the two nuts back on, connect the line back and bleed the clutch and we should be all set. The master is in. Now we gotta start back to where we were about four hours ago and uh, bleeding, it. bleeding it. So hopefully this does the trick. Oh, Don. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck, she connect the line. <laughs> a little bit of mess. So we tried to bleed this slave cylinder for the past like 30 minutes. I vacuum bled it, I, I've gravity bled it, I've done everything you have to do to bleed this thing correctly and it's a Slave cylinder, it's really easy, and it will not bleed anymore. We're starting to think that it's a defective slave cylinder, which I wouldn't, you know, hold it off to them because I've this has happened to me before with uh, with uh, you know advanced auto auto zone parts before. So whatever, we're gonna throw the old slave back on and see if it fixes it. If not, whatever. I actually have to go home. Uh, it's super late. Uh, Steffi's mad at me. So, <laughs> but 
There's a bird in here now. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. It's blue, dude. <laughs> but this dude's out here making a lot of noise. It's gray. This guy was freaking a red. Like. But I know the footage has been a little random. I'm sorry for missing so many vlogs. I just haven't been feeling too good. But made one today. But um, as far as that goes, my car is done, I think. I'm just waiting on spacers, which is so annoying. It's just... Things come in the mail and things can't come, you know, next day, every time. So we'll get that done and we'll be driving and hopefully be perfect for the drift event this Saturday, which I'm super excited about to get some crazy seat time in with my friends. I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, I am doing the collab with Hacker Garage and we are doing a giveaway for a Grom. Um, you guys have seen the Groms on our videos all the time. They're like the funnest things in the world and you guys can have a chance to win them. Each t-shirt that you buy or every ten dollars is an entry so that the, the collab t-shirt that we have going i didn't get it in the mail yet i'm still waiting on mine that gives you two entries into winning it which is pretty sweet so link will be in the description to check it out but enough of me rambling i'll catch you guys later like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and have a great day